I got laid off. I got fired. I got fired. But here's the thing. I was a binge guy. I remember seeing her at the local titty bar. I feel dirty right now just telling it into a microphone. We're broken around here. Working man sucks. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the Working Class Souls Podcast. I'm your co-host, Ed McGowan, here with my co-host, Josh Ricardo. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, today, we have a very special guest. He's been seen on Orange is the New Black. Uh, the new show on Apple TV, Dear Edward. Also, he's been in 30 Rock. He had a number one debuting album and special off of the Dry Bar Half Hour. It was called Force of Nurture. And now he has a new special <laughs> called Biscuits and Gravity. Please help me welcome Jason Solomon, everybody. Thank Jason. You. Thank yeah. you. Oh, yeah. It, it, for those who I are nailed listening. That, right? Yeah, he. Fuck yeah. I dude. really had to hammer home that those were both puns. Oh, he went full diva. I did. He walked in and was like, I'm I, not my credits. You're I like 11 kicked episodes my in. shoes off. I made Ed give me a foot massage. In it, fact, that sheet of paper was handed to you by yeah. Jason. Yeah. <laughs> I pulled that out. I, I, that, I was allowed to look at him in the eyes. That's the back up sheet of paper the other sheet of paper is torn to pieces in your trash can right now that's so who i am i i uh was just talking <laughs> off air with jason i said okay so uh ed might know you more but you and i have spent eight hours in the trenches yes. filming a favor sketch for somebody <laughs> yes. that we never saw the fucking light of day and it, yeah. when i said it this is kind of the show i'm i'm disgruntled here at the working class <laughs> i am so irritated because i wanted that real piece so bad i thought i did some magic in there i probably did there was but. some fun there was some fun stuff I mean, I almost like ripped my arm out of my sock. Oh yeah, you like, almost I went some, IR off I that. I had some, I had some hardcore physical action shots, which is that's look. My comedy is at a point where I'm like, periodically, I just prat fall on the stage. That's, <laughs> that's where I am. That's where I am, gentlemen. You know, I want to ask you it. about that because you have a, a mini series at Comedy Central ran that was pretty popular called "A Cowboy Explains." Yeah, yeah. I got that right. Do you utilize a lot of that? Because you have a you have like a New York country vibe. I do, yeah. You know, you're like, I'm yeah. educated, but yet I do still have a little <laughs> bit of the drawl in there. Yes. Uh, how did that come about? What is it? Do you do a lot of that kind of stuff? Do you really lean into the country part? Well, I mean, I, I, when I started, I was just an actor. I wasn't a comedian. Oh, so okay. I, I didn't get into stand-up till last. I had done oh. everything. I had done stage. I had done commercials, TV. I had done improv, sketch, yeah. all that stuff before I ever stepped on a stand-up stage. I so, yeah, so that was my last thing. Well, pause. For people that don't know, like you're working everywhere. You have to sell her. You're everywhere. <laughs> so you start like Don Marrera started out as an actor. Oh, is he, that he's true? A Philly guy. I didn't like know you. that. Um, yeah. Huge Don Marrera fan. Huge. He yeah, told yeah. me one time at the comic store in La Jolla, where you know I was a huge fan when I and I was really young and I met him and he was like, yeah, I wasn't even a comic at first. I was I was an actor and I was like, man, how could you start as an actor and be that good at stand up? Stand -up he's yeah. excellent. The writing, everything he was doing, yeah. I was like, man, that's crazy. I mean, Did I, it just come to you? Is it that feeds it? I mean, I I always liked making people laugh. I just didn't I didn't know what was going on and the and the thing with stand up comedy is you have to you have to actively create it like i was just sort of like i'd riff somebody yeah. i was great in conversation i was phenomenal it didn't matter who i was with i could make them laugh right. I could, it was like that was my thing yeah that was my whole deal but then when i got on a stand-up stage i remember i was like six months in and one of my buddies is like you got to write a joke. <laughs> He's hoping to charm the audience by meeting all of them. I, I will tell you right now, it was, you know, because it was a five minute, uh, like, open mic sets uh, and yeah. I could stand on stage for 20 minutes and never tell one joke yeah. and be completely comfortable. Just, you know, well, that's just, a huge step up, which is, that a, huge, is a huge step yeah. up because for when you first start, yeah. the, the standing up there is terrifying it's the hardest right. part mm -hmm. of like just being sitting in the silence sitting in a bomb yeah, all of that yeah. stuff yeah right so that was my thing was just i could stand up there and i could be charming yeah but i was not my buddies like we gotta we gotta <laughs> create a thing what's they called me the premise generator at the beginning of my stand oh, because, because no because punch every, but you had all so premise. many i had, oh, I had interesting thoughts yeah, yeah right, right right funny right. thoughts that's no punch lines that's so and, i mean you know whimsical stories <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. No. right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I mean, who, if I had held out a little longer, I could have gone straight alt. Well, you know what? Yeah, no, that's what I was going to say. How hilarious is it now? Or like, I started similar to you where I was doing a lot of improv and crowd work. Yeah. And now these, these guys who aren't writing any jokes, they're able to put them up on yeah, social media and get stuff. tons yeah. of yeah, hits. Yeah. And you're like, hey, I was doing that like 20 years ago and <laughs> everyone told me to fuck myself. Call yeah. like, Call now, yeah. now these weird. guys are taking dates away from me on the road. And I'm like, wait a minute. I did what you told me to do. I mean, to be 
To be fair, they're better marketers than <laughs> that, either oh of my, us. They that's, smoke that's, me in that. That's, your, yeah. that's our real deficit. That's that old marketing. guy, Achilles yeah. heel. For, I'm an old... I, yeah, I am it is. fully There's an old a, guy. I'm 42, yeah. and I, I've been an old guy since I'm 25. So you're I Gen, all yeah, this. you're Gen X. Yeah, I basically... Well, they call me an old millennial. Because yeah. I'm 81. You're Gen but, X but I'm because Gen X. you can't market. Because I can't yeah. market. Exactly. If you were an old millennial, you'd still be able still to market. Like, that's the crossover. The this crossover is old millennial. Is... This is all my like little, yeah, yeah. my lost childhood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes that's me an old millennial. Is. But yeah. everything else, business-wise, yeah, I'm Gen X. Because Gen X, in the back of your mind, we are all nirvana. We're like, oh. if we succeed, we yeah. have to kill ourselves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's oh, yeah, yeah. Legitimately. Wow. Legitimately. Yeah, totally. We're all, everybody who's truly Gen X, in the back of their minds, is like, if I succeed, it can only be by accident and like for like oh. three years and then i have to die and then, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, right. and then yeah. if i start getting things because of my success as opposed to because of my talent i am sell i am out. and i'm done as an artist that's yeah i'm over total fucking poser mind. sell out yeah, but all that's that. but that, that is this mind. woven mentality 100 yeah, percent. because that's how i see it now i see uh, you know and i'm trying to put my finger on it because i just thought oh, maybe i'm a hater but Overall, like I really gravitated towards this because yeah. everyone doing it that I liked was really broken, right? And yeah. miserable, and <laughs> yeah. they grab. And I love, right. I love being around those kind of guys that had the Another. kind of guy that would be have your back in a bar fight, but then you, you let him sleep on the couch and he'd steal the change out of yeah. your right. door. Like <laughs> right, that guy, right. I was Another, friends with so many guys yeah, like that. Right, right. Another Gen X thing. <laughs> it is. It is. Yeah. Like, like all these so many. weird <laughs> ethics involved. Yeah. That, yeah. Uh -huh. Even and I came and I came from a really healthy family background, but it was this stretch of time where both my parents worked. Yeah. So like I spent time alone. So not, isolation not is what your misery is. Though. Not in. I, I'm not miserable. I'm extremely <laughs> optimistic. <laughs> but like, but like, I love misery. Yeah, oh, like, okay. like I'm yeah, so yeah, yeah, optimistic. Yeah. Oh, I'm yeah. so optimistic that I'm like, no, oh, misery. But you need to balance it. I need. I love to to just be around miserable people. Yeah. Those are my people. Oh, I like, feel better when someone's... Yeah, that makes me feel better. When somebody is like crankier than me, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, oh, this is... Mine is... It's like, mine it's almost like I passed it off. Like, you know what I mean? I just passed <laughs> off my just misery. I'm like, oh, cool. Chlamydia. You, you're going to carry it now. Exactly. Ed McGowan, yeah. misery, yeah. chlamydia. He just yeah. hands over to you yeah. from Philly. The S That's the how chlamydia goes away, right? You just pass the it S off. The S and STD stands for socially. <laughs> <laughs> right? Because that's what we're going for. <laughs> so when you did the... We're, we'll move on in a second, but the cowboy explains. I like that kind of shit because it's you leaning into something that is. Oh, so yeah, I might be a cowboy, yeah. but I'm gonna really show you how I can make myself look dumb by being really smart. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So well, is that I mean, you write original, it all or the original? Because I created I created that series on my own YouTube. Oh wow! Originally, oh. And which was which was great. Which is why anybody out there just create your own stuff, especially mm. if you suck at marketing. Yeah, I know. Because create your own stuff, do things you love to do on create your own. Own stuff, um, Jason. <laughs> <laughs> because because I had a I had a meeting with Comedy Central. I auditioned for a for a Cluster Fest, which was their like counter festival to JFL. Mm -hmm. I auditioned for that. Had a phenomenal set. It they meet afterwards. They're like, oh, that was. So good, we, we want to schedule a general with you, which is like, look, yeah. we're not going to put you in the festival, uh -huh. but we want you to feel something, that you got something from this. And yeah. I don't think they intended to do anything with me. Yeah. But they, so when I go to that meeting. You got in the room. That's I all we need. Room. Like, that, I'm the same without you. Get me in the yeah. room and I'll figure it out And And my thing is, I know, I've been in seven billion rooms and gotten. As an actor. Uh, and gotten a hundred <laughs> gigs. And those hundred gigs define me to people yeah you oh, know yeah. like you just read off all of the successes you didn't realize you didn't read off he's watched some super bowls where every commercial break he gets a little sad because he lost a job you, <laughs> know? <laughs> <laughs> you know i'm the same yeah. in the same boat yeah. Yeah. so There's so many so, so many mean, my wife like, hey, that, that was yeah. uh, i read for that <laughs> hey i read for that like, today we're watching exactly. just yeah. like that I go, yeah i read for that i, read, I was yeah i tried that yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you're like uh, oh that's they went that way i guess that's the way you could go it is it is Little, it is a little triumphant when you're like, oh, this I'm glad this I didn't get this that. This commercial sucks, and it's because they chose that. <laughs> Seriously, dude. I would have made this com commercial so I had good. A casting agent steal an idea I had. There, we had yeah, to go yeah. in guy, like two guys at a time, and I said to the guy working with me, the actor, I go, listen, let's be a gay couple. So I just played it, you know, not over the top, but I just yeah. played it very loving. Yeah. I was supposed to be taking care of them. They brought me back for a callback, but in your case, just like give me something out of this. Yeah. The callback probably was just to say, "Hey, we liked your idea. Right. Watch commercial. 
two gay guys are in the commercials. <laughs> yeah, they just, just jack <laughs> move me. Oh, no, no. Yeah, the commercials, yeah, yeah. commercials. I've I've seen many of my lines in commercials. National. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. fucking blow yeah. my it's a, it's fucking a nice, head off, and I'm in a lot and that, of debt, and that Jason. Still, and that still won't get you health insurance and no, SAG. No, no, no. no. You still, <laughs> you still need been a to good book weekend, another though. gig. You still need to book another it gig. Been a to great qualify. weekend in AC, Jason. Yeah. I know that. Yeah, much. no, it would have been nice. It would have been a nice. You would have, you would have gambled that into <laughs> yeah, health yeah. insurance, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> well, or the need to, for health insurance. <laughs> how long before you start working all the clubs around the city? Oh, it was a it was a grind. I mean, I've been I've been I'm basically. I mean, you know, you're constantly sending out avails and all this stuff, and you're meeting with people and saying this, and mm-hmm. you know, every once I've gotten to the point sometimes where I'm like, why are you not yeah, putting they, me on they your just stage? What's the going? booker? Yeah. Oh gosh, there's so <laughs> you know, many. Five so many months you've been hanging out at the bar, and they yeah. so many the bookers. On you. Yeah, and sometimes you get fortunate. There are some mm-hmm. gigs where I where the person who became the booker is like why are you not right. getting more spots and, I'm asking and then this, that person becomes the booker and, and they're like, like you're thank god that never spots. that's yeah. like heaven rare. Like yeah. rare but i'm asking this because you are you track white yes you track yes. male and yes. you track straight yes and we are not popular currently not not in the industry right. which is right. fine okay well, whatever i mean the the thing is we're popular but all of all of the people who populate that are already 20 years Ex- successful exactly right. that's what i mean you, are, like, yeah. you and i are competing demographically with louis ck yes with with yeah, yeah, todd yeah. barry yeah, with, yeah, yeah, yeah. with yeah, robert right. kelly with with guys who are established mm-hmm. icons and that's right. why i'm bringing it up because yeah. for you to work this consistently and don't get me wrong those are amazing credits it's just they're terrific you're not credits. like louis ck famous no, like all those guys no, you just no. so but you're working no. the clubs they're at that's yes. what i'm saying that's pretty incredible that you were able to get in at this time yeah well and be I, working consistently i i think that everything it it, it Acting has taught me this. Everything is a casting call. So yeah. they want some of everything, which is good because you were getting none of a lot of things mm-hmm. for a long stretch yeah. of time. And and sometimes they reach too far. And that's, that's specific to the booker. Mm-hmm. The booker is the person who is the first line of defense. They need to, first and foremost, you have to be funny. I don't care what color, what size, what gender, sure. what background you come from. You're you saying that be should funny. be their number that one. That should be, and it's not always the case. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because bookers get lazy on that stuff too. Yeah, but that's sure. the, yeah. I think well, now I think, the internet's doing work for everybody, which is kind of infuriating. Well, that's the yes. other thing. It's like now that's the first thing that that because you check. can always justify booking someone on funny if you're like, well, they sold us twenty tickets. Today. Yeah, right. yeah. No, yeah, I did yeah, look, and yeah. that's the problem is we are in a business that. Yeah. Is dependent on getting people in seats, not on making people laugh. I'm so much going business for yourself. Well, I right? mean, the Might the great well. thing about social media is that you can literally, if you can't get on stage, you can run a joke on TikTok. You can run a joke. Yeah, right, and get feedback you know? on it and, and get see how it goes. some yeah, right. feedback. Yeah. See how your own presentation looks. You can yeah. do your own open That's mic. You can get better as a comic while on social media live. while being while not having a good following and and not being able to get on stage you can still become a better comic like you just have to figure out how to use yeah. all of these things that are crappy to the way you always did it how do you use that to make the way you did it a little bit different but still make you better or give you opportunities yeah. and my thing is you just stay in the game yeah it's- so for segue is that how you got a cowboy explains well, when they cowboy, find a guy in the room for the general. What they happens? got me in the room. They give me three things. They're like, "These are the things we're looking for: female-driven content." I'm like, "You can see, you got me, me. right?" I'm like, "You guys, everybody's. I don't want to make any assumptions, but you all see. You your take eye, your baseball your hat eyes, off. You're like, yeah. was this? Com- did your you? eyes are moving way too much. Uh, yeah. So that's what was the first thing. The second thing they were saying was something, something." Uh, Ethnic, ethnically driven, which was a hundred percent also not me. Yeah, and I was like, I was like, this feels like you guys. And they go, and something to do with holidays. And I'm like, holidays, you say? Oh, and I shit. had this whole, I had already you had filmed, already had it, and we were, and this was in June, and I had the first one I ever put out was Fourth of July. Wow. Bro. And and the that was also provide. That was also Dude, the one that's like, or like we want a, a female. 
ethnic or somebody with a really good mustache. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, yeah, like, someone who eats expired food. You're yeah. Like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I know. Right? Yeah, like, yeah. Well, anything, anything. Oh, I just happen to have an old sandwich yeah. in my pocket. Somebody who loves hanging around with miserable people. I'm here. I am here. I am on board. But yeah, it was just one of those things where I'm like, well, let's, yeah, tell, let's walk through door wow. number three, and I and. I, that was one of those, but that was one of those other things where I f- literally filmed that. I had just finished filming a student film, which, by the way, never came out. <laughs> as, I don't feel as bad anymore. That sketch should come out. As a, I had filmed for like three days as this like washed up comic. I wasn't even popular enough to be washed up to be washed, <laughs> to even qualify as that part of washed yeah. up. I mean, I, you could have claimed I was washed up if you knew nothing about how well I'd ever done. You know, but you're like, yeah, I hadn't washed all the way up yet. You know, I was even something yeah. to strive to. Yeah, wasn't even washed yeah. yeah, I was too far down to be washed up. All of those words didn't work. Uh, what was your but, favorite one you wrote of those? Fourth of July. It was, it really and, was. and that and how did that, it go? That was all. Don't on do the, it. But like, I want that to was all on the fly. Probably the thing that that resonates most, I have this run at the end where I talk about how a bunch of dudes and wigs and culottes got together and drank a lot of beer and wrote a lot of poetry that ended up being what we now call the the Declaration of Independence, and that stated that we would have no kings unless they were burger, and we would have no queens unless they were dairy. So that's like the run of it. How deep did you go with the accent? Oh, hard, hard. Oh, yeah, yeah. Kind of but this, but this is the other thing. The other thing is I had just finished filming that. I had completely lost my oh. voice. Oh, really? I got the guy because I because he had just like and I he had just like run me into the ground the over director? three days. The oh. director. So I got him to get his cameraman to film me in the rambles of Central Park. So it looked like a backdrop that yeah. was country. Oh, cool. And I'm, so I'm sitting on these rocks in the rambles of Central Park having to periodically cut for sirens, you know? Oh, that's right. <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. Yeah, for cool. sirens and dump trucks. Yeah. And, and you know, uh, you know and, and various crimes, of course. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. Like that, right? yeah. <laughs> but so, like, we did that, and I was, like, I was so exhausted, and I'm like, I have, have this written down, and I don't know if it's going to work. And I'm, but I'm just, I think it's a good idea. And it was July 3rd that we filmed it. Damn. So I filmed it, went home, still on no sleep, edited like crazy, punched in a lot of stuff, put it out. It did mediocre. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But people loved it. Yeah. But yeah. the people that li- saw it, but the people that saw it, it loved it. And it was one of those things that I was like, this worked. And so I, like, I would sort of re release it every year. And so I would polish it just a little bit if I, if, you know, an edit, a, a different clip or something. Because yeah, you also had like kind of like a I had 3D some graphics. Or, yeah, graphics yeah, kind of yeah. like popping, popping yeah, well, around the like thing ships. Was Comedy Central, oh. they put in all the graphics. We, oh, we did, okay. we gotcha. redid the whole thing for oh, Comedy okay. Central. But but that, because I did all of that work and it's your on character. no sleep and it's it was there. And then when I had that meeting, I'm like, oh, it's June 5th. Yeah. I can give you something in a month. Literally, I can yeah. have you something in a month. Um, and so they're like, yeah, we're going to just rewrite some. They thought it was hilarious. Yeah. They said, we're going to rewrite some of it. We're going to give it a try. We'll see how it does. It got a uh, hundred something thousand on, on, their, U- or mm-hmm. on their YouTube channel. Uh, so they're like, yeah, we like this. So we're going to do it. We're going to do it. So they did Labor Day and Halloween Hell and yeah. Thanksgiving and Valentine's Day. You got to write Day. all of them. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I started out as the dumbest guy in the room. Fourth of July was geared to be the dumbest guy in the room, yeah. and everything else they wanted me to be the smartest guy in the room. With all the same trimming, dumb. Yeah. Oh, okay. uh, is that what happened? Yeah, right. Because the Fourth of July was the Fourth God, of July so was good. just. I I always describe it as it's a grown, confident cowboy man who's who's remember who's telling you the story as if he, as if he's a third grader who's heard it twice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. You know, that's that is so that, good. But that's a hundred percent like what it was. It was yeah. supposed to be this like I feel like this is what it was. You know, but yeah. with all of the enthusiasm and confidence so of a grown human. So <laughs> I love that. When you came to New York, were you already acting? No, or? I came up here with an engineering job. Oh, uh, so like yeah. you're Damn. actually smart. No, you actually uh, had a career in place. <laughs> Hold on a second. What kind of engineering? 
Uh, the job itself was a chemical engineering Damn, job. Chemical yeah. Stuff. Well, it was like the here's, hardest one. Yeah, yeah, but it was chemical engineering sales. So <laughs> that's the whole thing. Is like I had to help people with their process, which was chemical engineering technically, but I was selling them stuff. So oh. let me. Did you graduate from college, like a BS in in chemical engineering? No, I went in for mechanical engineering. Okay, I was halfway through there. There were no more women in my classes. People just felt real comfortable passing gas during class. I was getting real irritated about all of those things. And I was, those two things and specifically the, were the, well. Those two things specifically were terrible uh, aesthetically. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, but but also I was just like I don't like numbers as much as I thought I did. The same. I was, yeah. I was an electrical engineering Where, student for yeah. four uh, years, eight semesters. I was I was two years, four semesters. So you were smart. And, and I, I, I was it, failing. I man, I failed so many physics classes, and I was just you know what's I'm, crazy? I'm just not physics trying is enough. the one thing I did great at, and I didn't go to class at all. <laughs> I didn't go to class all semester. I just studied for the test. I got an A. Well, in what's physics. the job? Like, what's the job you get out of those fields? Like, what's like the best well, kind so, of job you get? Job. Yeah, I mean, well, you you, know you shit, go and you like, like what would be the creme de la creme of that? The creme de la creme was probably something. In, into tech like bows or some well, shit well b- bows or even like you know like all of those all of the phone companies uh, were like engineers all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah i mean yeah. all, yeah, yeah. all, all well, all, mechanical you're dealing more like uh, like right. stress yeah. stress stuff tensile strength like that yeah you're your doing more thing. building things and, and yeah may like, i ask did you really want to be an electrician uh, in some <laughs> neighborhood just gave you the wrong i should have been wrong class booklet yeah. <laughs> i had a guidance counselor in high school go you sh- you should be more like an electrician Electrical. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I want to be an electrical engineer. And they're like, like, Are you sure you don't want to be an electrician? <laughs> you were literally the yeah. janitor of I, your high school. I was so. the janitor of my high school. And they're like, yeah. I see you. You're pretty good with a mop. Yeah. You need somebody. Dreams. You need somebody above you and below you to c- make a construct from which you cannot ruin the world. Yeah, it was. Yeah, you need yeah. the buffers, man. No, I mean, the old bookends. Legitimately, I just went. I was like, I'm just good at math. Right. And I and I, I want to make I money. Good yeah, yeah, I'm good, good at math. math. I'm 18 years old. I want to make money. How See, else? I was like, you either have a good job, you know, with something you're good at, math, yeah. or I play football better. That was my. Oh, yeah. you play football? Stuff. I did, but I was I was good enough to like try out if I wanted to, but no, nah, I wouldn't have made it. And and I went to the like day like tw- I went to Texas A and M. Oh okay. yeah, so like they, they had like a twelfth man. Like yeah, you could you show up, and they're show, like, yeah. look. Just to be fair, we're going to use you guys as living, breathing tackling. Oh dummies. yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm a wide receiver. I'm yeah, like, yeah. No, I play football no. in college, so yeah, I remember that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, like, I was one like, guy I'm gets not. to never play pseudo. Like really, the Rudy scenario. That's, I mean, that's they where lay you, you like, the fuck out yeah, too. You come, that's no joke. You come to full terms. I mean, I was like, oh wait, I hate pain. Yeah. I hate pain. Yeah. I'm like, I'm not going to do this. I think it's like a job when you get into college, too. That's what they oh, really... Because yeah. guys are going... Pro, you know, they're, if sure. your program's I mean, good yeah. enough, NCAA, guys are going I mean, yeah. to pro. Now with the NIL, not to go completely off the, the fucking you know, radar here. We're talking about college football. Yeah, and and NIL now. Podcast. You can make some yeah. serious cash now, so it's really serious business now. Oh, right, yeah. With the, especially uh, where he went. So what yo, did yeah. you do in New York City with that degree? What was so the- I moved to New Jersey. I got transferred to New Jersey. I had actually, I went and trained. I moved from Texas to Worcester, Massachusetts. Trained there for the job. I was going to, and they were going to ship you out to like some part of the country. And I said, I either want Texas or the Southwest. So they shipped me to New Jersey. <laughs> um, saddest day of my Nailed life. It. I mean, one of the saddest. I was so, it was raining the day I found out I'm going to New Jersey. I'm like, I don't even know. Through, on the trip from Texas to Massachusetts, we went through New Jersey. And that was the only time in the trip that I articulated, this looks like the worst place to live. <laughs> Where are you living now, Jersey? <laughs> no. and then How I soon thought, after that comment did you get the news? I mean, it was like, six months. I was driving. I was driving up there to train for six months, and 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 within four months, I was like in New Jersey. So now, what was bound. that job like? Was that like in terrible? A, were you in an office though? Like, did you? No, work? I had my own home office. I had a, I had my own company car. I I mean, it was monetarily and all the perks of it were great. Uh-huh. Um, except that I hated every other thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And in in the meantime, I was tr- I knew nobody in New Jersey, right? And so I was just trying to figure out ways to meet people. And all the people I was dealing with were old people. I I uh, went on a date with a couple of of like administrative 
assistants, you know, younger. Because yeah, so those were the, the only. Were the only those, were, yeah. those were the only people my age wow. group. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And so I'm like, this is this is terrible. Yeah. And because you're meeting, you're you're meeting chemical engineers. Not a fun bunch. Not, I mean, yeah. look, you know, like the ones that veer off are the are really fun. Oh, the okay. ones that veer off from actual engineering, crazy fun. Okay. But. Uh, oh, but man, the ones that are right down the middle, the ones that end up going to these jobs and holding companies together, boring. What but kind we of crazy need fun? People. Like you know, like a me- I knew some med students that would take cadavers out and fuck with them in front of everybody. Yeah, I mean, like look, that yeah. kind of fun. There were levels. Like smart people. There were some. Job fun. There were some. Hey, you guys want to go make meth? <laughs> <laughs> genius nut yeah. jobs. Yeah. I love a good I mean, genius nut job. Yeah, you get that. <laughs> you get some of that. You get a few people who you're like, who when they're like, hey guys, let's go do this, and you're like, we're gonna let them go do that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We're just going to sort of wrap up the adult <laughs> version of this party, you know, and when when you when you're you know, when you're in your you're like 23 years old and you're going, I'm going to be more adult. Yeah. You know, that's you know when you know news. you're hanging out with the wrong yeah. people. Yeah. So, oh, dude, but, I, no, but there were yeah. some nut jobs in, in engineering because because they're so structured when they're working. Oh, when they let loose. That when they let uh, loose, they might judge. Was an engineer. Yeah, that oh, makes was sense. He? Yeah. That tracks. Because he, and that's what he did to let off steam. Oh, was cool. Create animation. Yeah, right and, on. I mean, cool. That, so, I mean, it's, it's that whole simultaneous brain thing. And I, yeah, I ended up halfway through college veering off into a half sales, half engineering. They had, at A&M, they had an engineering technology degree. Oh, right, 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 right. So right, right. you, yeah, you yeah. just shifted into that. And I was like, oh, so I did, I had already done all the engineering stuff so a lot of what i was doing from that point on was just business stuff right and i'm like this is easy turns out i hated that too but. dude i was doing when i was doing engineering i was i was like just a drunk drug addict like i was oh, going to quantum yeah. well, how different when you're a waiter yeah. <laughs> I, mean, uh, I didn't know you were i'm sorry i thought you were trying to set something up here yeah. like, that's the show I, yeah. jesus doesn't know <laughs> well, everyone true. Else listening i didn't does. know i didn't know <laughs> but i used to go to quantum physics classes on lsd and man, I'll tell you, there is nothing Favorite like coming class. away from like eight semesters of school debt with just Enhanced. nothing but yeah. like conversational quantum physics. Yeah. <laughs> I guess you had a dead just, concert to blow people's you. mind. Yeah, ninety percent of the people you encounter can only encounter quantum physics through LSD. That's it. That's the only way they could possibly. Yeah. So, so but, before stand up, you uh, had an engineering job, mm-hmm. sales engineer. Yeah. Do you ever have like a very grunty kind of job when you started acting into stand up? Oh, yeah. Oh, please. Oh, give have, me one. Give me the worst job. And if you've ever gotten fired, I want to hear about it. Well, the firing job was actually in college. I worked at a Chinese food restaurant. Wow. <laughs> I couldn't get My a first job. I couldn't get a I couldn't get a wait job at any restaurant in town. And I go, I'm I'm like, I I'm personable. I know I'm not dumb. I can I'm like I I don't feel like I should have this much trouble getting this job for whatever reason. I could not get a job as a waiter. And I'm like, that's the best way to make money. Yeah. That's my own brain right now processing what I was going through. Yeah. You guys think that's a dog in the house? It's not. That is my that is my brain trying to figure out why I couldn't get a weight job. <laughs> but it but yeah, it's crazy because um should we pause? So now we can just okay, keep talking. Right. So that, so, but you got a job waiting tables so, at a Chinese restaurant. So yeah, I mean, legitimately, this was the only place that would give me a job. And their entire wait staff at the Chinese restaurant was Caucasian. Oh, their, really? enti- their entire kitchen staff was Mexican, and their entire management staff was Chinese. That that family, there were like four of them. It and was, now this is like suburbs of what? what this is where, College where Station, Texas. Texas. Oh, okay. This is where Texas, Texas A&M, A&M was. Well, it's yeah. Bryan, Texas, which is like the sister town, I guess. I I, the Chinese restaurant that I worked in, I was the only white person. There, really? And no one, there was one person that spoke English to me. Like the, really? <laughs> Everybody else just called me boy. <laughs> it was, uh, I, mean, I, was I was 12. That, <laughs> you really, so so, yeah, so little, boy was little different. accurate. It was very accurate. Boy was, I mean, boy was totally yeah. tracking. I mean, yeah. I mean, that changed that. Beard, story completely <laughs> yeah i mean child laborer would have been the only more dirty. accurate thing that they could have called <laughs> too many syllables boy it was so much quicker and boys efficient. easier boys easier that that incorporates all the child labor aspects. so you say chinese restaurants really are hurting for people to work there that bad that they're hiring ed mcgowan and you i mean yeah i i they i will tell you right now based on the amount of 
a demand that there was for me as a waiter, they had to have been hurting to have hired me as a waiter because I was not. I, I had no other offers coming in, uh, and and I actually. Food, best food I've ever had, best Chinese food oh. to this day I've ever had in Seriously? my life in Bryan, Texas. Wow. Yeah. I, wow. I thought when I moved up here and you I, had, I had tried Boston area, New York area, I had tried Chinese food everywhere I went. Nothing even close. I thought I was <laughs> embellishing it and then I went back to visit a friend in college and we went there and ate and I'm like, I undersold this. Wow. I was like, this is way better. Wow. Yeah. yeah. And That's it's, great. And I don't know, I mean, because the, the, family who owned it made all the sauces and they would give it to those mexican dudes to cook it oh. and uh, and i don't know if it was the flair because i do know that they also made their own food at the end of the night and because i spoke enough spanish <laughs> they would they would make <laughs> they me would a plate you up. to yeah, go i love that at the end of the night which uh, mexico Chino Mex yeah. is because they know how to fry things. Phenomenal right? food. Yeah, I'm because that is Mexican food cooked in a wok. Yeah. yeah. But with Chinese sauces. Yeah, dude. It is so good. Oh, man. I had, so never mind. Good. Good. I was living in Brooklyn. I first moved here to Brooklyn, right down the street, right on the corner, like a block away, there was a Chinese Mexican restaurant. Yeah. And the best chimichanga so I've ever works. had, dude. Oh, yeah. So it works. Chimichanga it is, fried in a wok, dude. Yeah. Oh, it's insane. insane. Uh, Bro. I there used to be a place that had a lot of food in Chinese together, and it actually All right. worked out. That's I don't that, know why, I like that. but it That's was cool. It, it was. I'm good. telling you, you can mix you mix foods together. It's, yeah, I yeah. I used to do a leftover Chinese food omelet. Today. You had me a leftover. <laughs> leftover Chinese you had food. Him at dumping all your garbage food <laughs> yeah. into an omelet. So, so good. <laughs> it is. Those are some of the best breakfasts I ever. I love ate. leftovers. Dude. Yeah, it's gonna start a restaurant called Expired yeah. Foods. <laughs> <laughs> it's a chef yeah. who just literally pulls everything out of the fridge. It yeah. all has to go. <laughs> Cook it. Cook it. Cook it. Too much. It's just Get- all. It's just all custom yeah. paella. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You just run it. You just do a little listeria test, and then you. Eat Eat it if it comes out negative. <laughs> Give me a grunt New York City job. Like, what's one of the grunt New York City job? Uh, those are always brilliant. Those New, are the well, best. I mean, when I first started acting, I was still living in Jersey, but I was handing out flyers at like at, down on Wall Street, mm-hmm. just oh, handing flyers uh-huh. to in the be, elements, everything just right there. Just flyers whoever, for what? Whoever was kind of, I don't even remember. They would just give you. It was like these groups. They would just give you these stacks of paper, and you would just hand them out. See, I had a job like that in the suburbs of Philly. Yeah, we would go door to door. Oh, so oh, no, we just we're just so now people are coming. So off you're the just subway. you don't have to walk. I had to oh, walk. Yeah. You know the oh yeah, and you, you had, had to, to get stuff. like so many flyers done in a day. Well, okay, how do they but, track you if you try to do that thing where they throw them in? You throw them in the trash. I don't know that you they don't. Can. You throw them in the trash. Well, okay, so you actually could <laughs> yeah. do that and oh, get, like, still get paid. But like, yeah. but like I had in the back of my mind, I'm like, I have to. I'm doing a job. I'm not gonna throw these in the trash nice. I was, they're I'm, paying you I was like well, I'm how doing long did that last it's, I'm, <laughs> it's, I'm, I'm doing that same fervor I'm too good I'm I had that same fervor for about a, you know a I'm, month <laughs> I grew up a good kid like anytime I break a rule in my brain I'm like I, somebody might die Oh, like shit. that's how my brain wow. operates. Shit. Yeah, because we talk about that a lot, like on uh, here about like, have you ever stolen from work? You ever you ever take anything from work? Like as like I'm do I'm owed this. Like this. I mean, I other than other than maybe an occasional like pen or something like that, and like nothing big. No, no. Okay. I mean, like I will with my home office when I when I did that. I I will say I quit that job and uh-huh. didn't tell them I quit nice. that job. I just stopped working yeah. at that job. <laughs> How long until they reached out? Like, hey, oh, you got to log in? I had a solid six months of just getting paid to work on my acting. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah. How did that work? <laughs> well, I mean, because I, mean, I would just... tell me. Well, I would... Because all you had to do was, like, go and, like, get some mileage on the car to show uh, that you went out. And oh, because some... you're trying to find clients. Yeah, well, because that's the whole thing. So for six months, you're not thing. finding any clients. Yeah, and, they're like... and it's... I mean, eventually, it's going to catch up to you. Of course. And it was one of these things where I'm like, I hate this job. And I had gotten my first theater gig. I had, I had, uh, I had done this, uh, this show, this three-man show that just, like, gave me the acting bug. I just, like, oh... 
I'm here. I got to do this. Oh, so interesting. So that's so you just caught the acting bug by accident. Well, kind of. I, I had gone and started taking classes to meet oh, okay. women because yep. I knew nobody. Uh-huh. So, so your I took acting to classes. Success, just yeah, like that's many what men. it is. It, it's what it is. It's the divining rod for success. <laughs> but what the key is, you have to stop listening to it once you get to the water. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah, 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 yeah. No one knows that's that. That's the part. thing. That's People the don't. Secret. You can't use once you, can't you get to it all the way down the journey. It's it's a divining rod that can be ruined by touching water. <laughs> that's that's essentially what it is. So you let it lead you to the water. You put it away. Yeah, yeah, you put yeah. it back in its package. Say your goodbyes, and then, and then you enjoy the water. You know, that's what that's the key. <laughs> but yeah, I, thirsty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, right. Aching yeah. more. Yeah, don't 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 let it see the water. It will ruin. It will ruin the water. All right, now you got to give me the worst gig as a stand-up you've ever had. The worst gig the is the worst road up. gig. Um, oh man! The I mean, more awful, the more the more better. If that's that's not. <laughs> well, the weird thing is, is like all the worst, uh, the worst parts, like the worst actual gig that I did, paid me so it much. It always is like it that. paid Same me so me. much money that I was like, this is not going to be a good gig. Because these oh, as soon as you saw how people, much money it was, these right. people yeah. know so little about the actual economics of this of this world that they can't possibly understand how to put together a show. Oh yeah. Um, so that gig was me like it was a Friday at the end of a week long conference in Montana. And these people were, it was the last thing they were doing before they went home to see their family. It was me and a buffet in a conference room, hmm. and I was not the most popular of those two acts. I was, were they literally at like at the buffet? They were yeah, back the and time? forth. I mean, and noisy, like not one of those buffets where like anything. It was like everything was metal Should or glass or right. made of Chafings. symbols. Just, I think they were made of lids going up. Yeah, just yeah. on and off, right? Yeah. Or you hear people. Is there more roast beef? <laughs> yeah. No, I mean it's how the, much time the, you doing? The guy. <laughs> Ah, 45. So you're doing a headline. Yeah, yeah. So. I'm full sad. No, actually, you know what? I, I had to do 60. I didn't have to do 60. I did 50. Oh, odd. it's that old. But it was one of those, work. you're going to do a full hour, and it's just you. And the guy, and the guy just, and it's in a conference room, and there's not like a stage or it's any sort of cordless. There's a cordless mic. And the guy, here's the thing. The guy just, I said, yeah, just introduce me. And this is, I gave him my introduction. I'm like, you can, you can just you know, say my name, I'll tell him it's common. say he didn't get uh, biscuits and gravity right. <laughs> he did. Here's, here's, here's how poorly he did. Go out on a limb there. Here's how poorly he did. He goes, he said something that nobody understood, and people were like, what is he saying? <laughs> and then he goes, what are you doing? What are he, goes right? he goes, and now you're speaker. And he hands speaker. me, he doesn't even say my name. Oh. He, he calls me the speaker. He doesn't say my name. Oh. He walks the mic over to me. I get the mic in the back of the room. By the spot there's, of face. Here's a, here's the thing: is there are there are there are three sides to that room that could have been the front of the room. He gave it to me at the only place that could not have possibly been the front of the room. He walked he walks it over, hands it to me like a baton in a, a relay. I had like sixty paces. Well, so walk. so here's the thing: I walk to the first wall. And I'm like, mm, I don't think this is the best front of the room. And so as I'm doing the first couple of jokes, I'm wandering around the room and I just light in the middle of the of the second wall. I'm like, I don't think there's a good spot. So I'm just gonna I'm just gonna stop moving so that these people don't think this is a carousel I, comedy. This show. is bringing me so much joy. Uh, this story. Uh, this but but the thing that. is, that paid me so much money that I took my girlfriend with me, and I didn't I I knew it was gonna be bad, and I hadn't told her it was gonna be bad. Oh, and, you got to And let so her know. and she had seen me record my album. She has She knows she, you're amazing. She, she knows, you knows you that yeah, I, okay. she likes my comedy. Yeah. She's always had a good time. She only goes to shows that are like bigger shows. That's how you do it. But she was on this vacation with me and it was paying for everything yeah. and it was great. So you got to go the eat vacation it with me too. With, yeah, but you got to eat it together. I didn't even think about it. I'm like, "Oh, she's going to sit in the back of the room because I'm so used to doing these gigs with comics who are like uh, where we just commiserate afterward yeah, right, and just yeah. go, that was crazy, but we knew it could have been crazy. <laughs> she, I forgot that she had no concept yeah. of how bad comedy could be. <laughs> she goes, wow, I've never seen you 
do that poorly? And I go, oh, no, no. That, that was me. I was like, you don't understand. That was as good as that could have gone. Yeah, now you're explaining to her yeah. all the elementary fundamentals. Oh, this, yeah. You know, A to Z here. Oh, yeah. Comedy. I was just like, I was like. Break up at the airport. Yeah. You were ruin the vacation. No, she, I mean, she's, she's, she's a great and she's very supportive. So I didn't, fortunately, I mean, yeah. If I had been with somebody who was, who was hinging on any success in yeah, my career, yeah. first of all, oh, it, that would have been over if before that, this gig if, happened. If you had not no sealed the deal like yeah. sexually at that yeah. point, you weren't going to yeah. do it. No. That was not. No. That was the big going yeah. away weekend. Yeah. Yeah. Fuck that would have that would have been a terrible beginning to a third day. All she could vacation. hear is biscuits and gravy, and the one guy's like, "Did they say that the buffet has biscuits and gravy?" <laughs> gravy? Like, what? This guy brought the gravy. I'm not seeing any gravy he brought. <laughs> Where's that gravy he's talking about? Yeah, yeah. show so bad the, the ride to the airport. She's talking about the engineering sales job. Yeah, Maybe she's she like. Yeah. You ever think about popping back into that? Nah, yeah. Fuck, you gotta, at least you got a job for life. Yeah. I mean, you know, honey? tell me more about that company car. <laughs> what was the mileage? How many miles you have to drive a day to pretend like you still work there? <laughs> what part of Jersey? <laughs> Those channels open with you and your uh, yeah. supervisor at yeah. that job? Yeah. Is that a definite? Still a definite no on that? But when you make the money, it it doesn't feel. It, that's what I. That's when I knew. Like, oh, I I love this too much. Yeah. Even when I made the most money, when it was a bad gig, I still felt a little sting. Not so much now because it's how I pay my rent, but yeah. I still feel a little like, yeah, I guess you know I'm really happy about the money. But fuck, yeah, I was... will. I having done the engineering gig beforehand, and I will continue to call it an engineering <laughs> gig because it makes me sound smarter. When I say sales gig, it makes me sound like a piece of garbage. When you said sales, I was like, isn't that oh. funny how that? Did? Oh, I know, I know, and that's the thing. I'm like, I'm like, look, I'm in pharmaceuticals. If you're sales. interested enough. To ask me a follow-up question, I will give you the full story. Yeah, that's fair. If you're just going to nod, you didn't deserve to know yeah, yeah, that, yeah, yeah. that I was not good enough as an engineer. I love it. <laughs> you know, you don't deserve that. But I, but because I had that, and I had that, and it paid well, and I, and I was in a nice apartment, and I was I had my own car, and I was able to do whatever I wanted to do. With but no one to do it with, with, with no, no one, with no yeah. one to do it with, and I also was like, I don't, this is not the mm -hmm. thing I can do well compared to everybody. Like I, I, I'm like, I need to find something I'm good at and I love to do. Yeah. And I was constantly, every day, I would just wait. I would, I wasn't sleeping great. I was just, yeah. every day, I was waking up just with this sort of emptiness. And then I get these crappy traveling gigs with theater where I'm doing children's shows about the state of New Jersey. Working my first Jersey accent ever, yeah. So just, like, just yeah. loving it, yeah. And, like, and this. man, sleeping like a baby. <laughs> yeah, right. I was just like, I was like, this is the See, that's dumb thing great. that makes my life complete. Yeah, that's a great so perspective good. though, because that's kind of how we end up starting the shows. Is that you know he was loading some gear for a show we're doing. He's like, is this better? Than waiting tables, and we're just thinking about like, wow, well, yeah. there are some times yeah. where this road gig shit, when you're not like a very established act, yeah. is I could compare it to a lot of grunt jobs I've had. Yeah. But I'm doing something uh -oh. when the, the stage happens. When the stage, the stage party, it's yeah. all it's, eliminated. It's all yeah. worth it. It's all yeah. Yeah. And that's, yeah, you're yeah. creating a thing that can live beyond you. I like. I mean, you like my. I'm. I'm not. I don't have any kids. Those are my kids. My album. My specials. Yeah. That's it. Those. That's what I'm leaving behind. That's my legacy. Yeah. So I just got really bummed out. <laughs> so you, when, when are you dying? <laughs> I mean, this is what I'm leaving behind. I yeah. Got more acts in you, right? This is actually the last gig I've got scheduled. Uh, you guys are it. Like, how many clips are we gonna get out of yeah. this? <laughs> yeah. Go Ten more minutes. We need to finish up soon because I, I scheduled a hearse to pick me up. <laughs> I like to make things real efficient. That's my that's my old engineering Puns brain at work. and yeah. efficiency. <laughs> yeah. Two years was enough to, uh, to have that. Know, yeah, yeah, yeah. You got any job shit, Eddie, before we bounce? I was thinking about um, getting a job. You ever get like a job like through a friend or get a friend a job? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, I have. I've done both. The um, Not great. I was thinking about when, like when I was like trying to get like my early jobs, like those early like high school jobs. 
All my friends worked at Burger King. And man, did I want to work at that Burger King. What like was it, it about? Okay, I remember these days because, yeah. you know, I used to live by one of those places. Yeah. And you thought, man, imagine getting a free burger every day. Uh, oh, that's dude. how low budget we were. I just felt like. And then just hanging lunch. out and hanging out, too. Like, that we all worked together. That was the hangout, right? Yeah. 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 So, like, there was, like, three of my friends worked at this Burger uh, King. And then I put all three of them down as references. And I 100% know they were like, no, we don't want another one of this fucking crew in here. Are you kidding me? These guys are That's smoking pot out back all the time. These are our worst words. <laughs> that really is so funny, right? That's something that would be funny if they hired you because they got in a fight and they go, what if we see if he's worse? <laughs> if he's the worst or the best. It's like a trading place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I pay you a dollar. <laughs> and then we'll just fire whoever comes in third. <laughs> yeah. That's such like a worthy class thing to be like, my buddies that refer me. I don't know why I get the job. Yeah. Because you're a moron yeah. and you're surrounded by other morons. That's there why. Exactly. There's your movie. You can't get that. Yeah, yeah right? Yeah. I love that. That's hilarious. I'm, I got a buddy a job of mine and I got fired and it was like a very public firing and my buddy was still working there and he was he we were living together and he came home after this huge meeting happened about me being let go and he's like I fucking hate that I that I asked you to refer me to this job uh, sitting in that room and everyone looking at me because I'm your friend. <laughs> everyone in that room hating you. <laughs> it was the, the fucking worst. <laughs> you left me in there alone. <laughs> His face. I was home eating chips. I was watching DVDs. You thought he was going to console you. And he came home. You he came home. You're you a garbage bag. <laughs> Everybody in that room thinks <laughs> I'm so Yeah, yeah, exactly. Uh, <laughs> they can't hate you in person, so no yeah. one talks to me now at the I'm job. All of it. Oh, the worst. Sorry, buddy, if you're listening right now. Uh, I love so you. Good. My bad. <laughs> uh, Jason, hit where you're at. Let people know where to find you. Uh, at J. Salman Comedy on all the uh, on all the social meds. Uh, and that Salmon is S A L M O N, spelled like salmon, pronounced like Salmon because we're classy. Yeah. That's what we do. Yeah. Um, and uh, my album just came out on iTunes, uh, Biscuits and Gravity. It's available everywhere. The special is on YouTube. Uh, you can still get uh, Force of Nurture uh, on iTunes, and and I also have the Drive Our Special online and Sweet Jason Salmon dot com. Love it. Uh, Eddie. Food dates. I can follow me at Ed McGowan Comedy on Instagram and TikTok. That's it, baby. At Josh Cardo, <laughs> joshcardo.com. Thank you so much for coming in, man. That was amazing. Man, thanks for having Dude, me. Dude, this was Have great. Hell yeah. Oh, one last thing, guys. Yo, uh, big announcement. We've joined a brand new podcast network called Connected Podcasts. And yeah, I know you thought the working class holes were just about being disgruntled. We're not. We have a mission, making you laugh. Their mission, helping us drive this network to the top and be number one. Dude, we're, I know. We're so psyched. And you got to be sure to check out some of the other great shows because they have some truly great ones. And when I say truly, one of them's called Truly Darkly Creepily and the other one's called One Broke Actress. Just some of my favorites. Check it out. We'll see you guys again soon. 